Hey, Stats Prodigies. Today we're going to go over uh, running uh, a chi-square contingency table in JASP. So uh, let me share my screen with you. And uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to create um, a, a, a summary data set in Excel. So sometimes you might have data that comes in summary form, not in raw form. Like we've been using examples from the employee data set, which I'll show in a little bit, which is in raw form. This is some, just summary data. We have uh, three variables, um, those who identify not as a minority and those who identify as a minority, zero and one. Three categories of employment. One is clerical, uh, two is custodial, and three is manager. And then the observed values in each group. You know, this would be non-minority and clerical, non-minority and custodial, non-minority and managerial, minority in clerical, minority in custodial, and minority in managerial. And what we want to do is we want to find out if there is a significant association um, in the relationship between employment and minority status. In other words, um, do we have an equal representation in each group? So this is important, you know, in because if we had an equal representation in each group, we would uh, assume that each categorization would have the same percentage, you know, uh, you know, uh, clerical, uh, custodial, and manager positions would each have an equal representation of minority and non-minority uh, employment. So let's take a look and see if there is a, a significant association here. Um, and again, if all groups are equal, then there's no association. So what I want to do is once I've uh, transferred this into a summary form and save it, I save it as a CSV file. And uh, then I'm going to um, open up JASP. And um, I'm going to open it. Uh, and find my CFV fi uh, file. Um, I might, I already have it ready to go here, but um, I might have to go to computer and then browse and use the browse function and look in a folder. But for right now, I have it here. And so um, I bring it up and, and there it is, um, just like we had it in JASP. Now I might want to make a, a, a few modifications here. For example, um, for minority classification. Maybe I, I want to label it here, non-minority uh, and uh, minority, okay? And um, for employment, I click on employment and it's labeled at uh, one, two, and three. I'm going to say clerical, uh, custodial, In manager. And uh, you can see it's made all these changes here. Whoops, we, we, we seem to have made an uh, error here. Let's change that to minority. There we go. Now it's fixed. I had to hit that return button. And so now let's run it. And we go to frequencies and we're going to go to contingency table. And I'm going to take my observed va variable. I called it that. I could have called it anything. I could have called it count. I called it observed, how many there were, and I put it here. And I take employment, and I'm going to make employment a column variable, and minority status a row, or a row variable. I could have changed these. And then I'm going to ask to run a, a chi-square that's already marked. And I want an effect size measure. That's here. And let's go ahead and ask for um, some cell information. Let's ask for uh, the expected values and let's ask for some column percentages and some total percentages. So there we go. Uh, under options, I don't think there's anything here that I need. No, uh, there's not. And so let's look at our output here. Um, so the reason I asked for column percentages and not row percentages is row is going to tell me that of the 370 in the non-minority status, uh, how many were clerical, custodial, and manager. And I really don't care. What I really care about is the breakdown between 
these positions and um, the breakdown here between minority and non-minority. So that's going down my column here. And so notice that if all of this were equal representation, it'd be 33, 33, and 33. But here we see that, um, you know, looking at um, uh, the clerical group, um, we had uh, within the column, 76% were non-minority and 24% were minority. Okay, that's a that's a 50% deviation almost, 51%, 52% deviation there. Here they're pretty close, 51.9% and 48%. That's uh, uh, pretty close here. Um, but then look at 95% at were non-minority and about 4.5%, 4.8% compared to 95.2. Um, so we see here that, wow, there's some real disparities between in, in the manager group and in the clerical group. And sure enough, our chi-square was significant. A chi-square of two equals 26.17. P is less than 0 0.001. And our Kramer's V was 23.5. So this is like a correlation coefficient. And in, in interpreting this, um, 0.1 is considered small, 0.3 is considered medium, and 0.5 uh, is considered large. This is between 0.1 and 0.3. So we're going to say that's less than 0.3. This is a, a small effect. Um, and so we are ready to report this. And the way I would report it is that um, a chi-square was conducted to evaluate the relationship between minority status and uh, um, and uh, uh, job, um, uh, job uh, between minority status and, uh, uh, and, and, and job categories, an alpha level of 0.05 uh, was used. Frequencies and, I have standardized residuals, I'm gonna change that. Frequencies and uh, percentages corresponding percentages are reported in table one. There was a, whoops, PKRC percentages are reported in table one. There was a statistically significant relationship between minority status and job category. Chi square of two equals 26.17. P is less than 0 0.001. You can see that right here. A small effects was, size was noted, V equals 0.235 right here indicative of a small effect. Individuals identified as ethnic minorities in custodial and managerial jobs. Ooh, I have a mistake there. Not in custodial and managerial and clerical and managerial jobs contributed to the significant finding. And so we see here, um, looking at this 50% uh, difference here between 76% within the column and 20 uh, 4%, and then here uh, with the manager, 95% and 4.7%. And so you can see those percentages here and here, and you can see the custodial is really close, but clerical and managerial are not. So uh, that's how we would write this up. And then I could um, just uh, go here to results, hit copy, um, you know, insert uh, a page here, a page break, and then um, hit uh, edit and paste, and there are my results, and I'm ready to submit my assignment now, aren't I? So uh, that's how we can uh, uh, do this part of the assignment. Now, let me just show you one other thing. You're like, what, what happens if I don't have summary data? What happens if I just have um, raw data? You know, how does that play out? You know, like the employee data set that we've always been playing with, you know. So let me just show you that. Let's uh, um, open that uh, employee data set up. Let's try that again. Oh, there it is. There it is. And, uh, so this is all the raw data, the, the, the whole data set we've been playing with all semester. And watch this here. You know, if I run this and I go to contingency table, this time I don't have a count variable. 
I just put in um, job category and I put in um, minority. And uh, again, I can hit the same things I was hitting before, my Kramer's V. And uh, oh, I can ask for my uh, um, cell information, uh, my expected values and my column percentages. And there we go again. And so there we see, um, uh, you know, that uh, 76 and 24, 51 and 48, 95 and 4.7, my chi-square value is the same. And so if you don't have summary data, if you just have the raw data, you can do the same thing. You just don't use the count uh, command. So that is the essence of chi-square using JASP. Let me know if you have any questions. Send me an email. Hope this was helpful. Take care.